All right, hey, what's up world? One Tech Traveler here. You can see I've created my Vivo Barefoot Studio. Hope you like it. And today we are going to be following up my unpacking video of the Vivo Barefoot Geo Quartz Men's and the Magna Trail. If you haven't yet seen that video, make sure you check it out. If you are thinking about buying a new pair of trainers and specifically Vivo Barefoot shoes, uh, how to find the right shoe size for you. Now you'd think it would be quite straightforward and probably for the majority of you it will be, but I want to give you a bit more confidence uh, when you are looking to make your first purchase of Vivo Barefoot trainers, whichever models they are, or the Geocourt Men's and the Magna Trails. So join me as I take you through my experience. Like always, you can find my written article as well as my reviews on these coming up on my website, so make sure you check out onetechtraveler.com and if you haven't yet make sure you join team kba community right here by subscribing to my channel just down below Right, so before we get started in all of the details, here is the top line for what you need to know when it comes to choosing the right size across Vivo Barefoot shoes and more specifically for the Geo Quartz Men's and the Magna Trail. The Geo Quartz Men's is slightly more fitted and has a less exaggerated like wider front than the Magna Trail does. So you're going to find the shoe size that you're wearing for your current trainers is going to largely be the same as what you'd want to get your Geo Quartz Men's in. When it comes to the Magna Trail, whether you're factoring in socks and just the mid-height trainer design, these ones are much wider and noticeably bigger because of that much higher profile when it comes to the tongue compared to the lower one. So on the Magna Trail, you actually want to size down and there is some adjustability where if it's a bit too tight, um, you can actually remove the thermal sole and wear it without any sole. Perfect for, you know, spring or the summer when you're hiking outdoors. Going bare feet without any sole runs a little bit too loose for your liking. Uh, so putting normal soles in here that you can uh, switch up would give you that nice fit. So on the Magna Trail, I size down from the UK 9 that I'm normally used to, uh, to a UK 8 42M. I've never been a UK 8 before. However, on this is an exception. Okay, so let's bring it back a little bit and help you understand the context of the shoes that we have here to gauge how relevant the information might be here for you. These are my first pair of Vivo Barefoot shoes and I really enjoy the more natural fit. I ordered these online straight from Vivo Barefoot's website. Now, normally I'm a size UK9, which is an EU43, and that's sort of across the board of different brands and footwear that I wear. And I tried out their shoe size checker that allow you to input the different brands and specific models that you have from them. So had my Adidas Equipment Advance trainers and my on a running cloud shoe. So I went ahead and got a UK9 for both of these. But it turns out that the sizing is a little bit different between these two particular models. So a lot of what I'm saying is relevant to the Geo Court and the Magna Trails. It might vary slightly, but hopefully these can give you a framework or baseline for these type of like low mid shoes uh, that you can apply across Vivo Barefoot's range. So you can see we have the pairs here, but I also have the other shoe for it. These are actually in different sizes. I went ahead with the UK9. It was very fast shipping all the way to Seoul in South Korea, just a couple of days. So in terms of shipping, it was very good. Uh, I tried them on and initially I felt it was great, but as I started moving around in them, the fit was kind of a bit unsure and that was on two fronts. One, I wasn't sure how different the actual design and structure of how Vivo Barefoot are designing these and how much of it was down to just them being being a bit too big for me or a bit too tight. I found with the Geo Quartz Men's, which has more of a you know casual style look to it, this one's a bit more fitted and the sides aren't as wide as what they are on the Magna Trail. And because of the lower profile that you can see here, it's actually better fitted to my slightly narrow and quite thin feet. So the UK size 9 EU43 was nice for me. Had a little bit of 
room towards the front, but it still felt very good. Now, the Magna Trail is kind of what confused it a bit because, like I mentioned, as soon as I put these on, they were nice, but they ran a bit too big for my feet, uh, primarily around the front, so where you can see it's wide. This one is a lot more like exaggerated, and because it's kind of a mid-height shoe, you can see that it sort of runs higher than the Geo Quartz Men's. It actually meant that there was a bit more room towards the tongue that was adding to sort of the extra movement and space for my feet to sort of move more than I would like it to. And when I walked in them, again, there was just a bit too much room in this. So I was a bit confused because both of them were the UK9 EU43, but the Geo Court Men's had a much better fit than the Magna Trail. I've never been a UK8 EU42 because they're just way too tight for me. Um, but it was sort of nagging at me even when I sort of tightened up the laces. It fitted better, but again, it's kind of just when you have that feeling where it just doesn't feel right and you're trying to make it work. Uh, it was kind of that with the Magna Trail. So, so I actually wanted to exchange and I decided to go ahead and get the other size first because I needed to compare the fit between the two to make sure that I found the one that suits me. I actually ordered the size eight for both of them, EU42 UK8. They came back and I wore them both left and right shoe. It kind of reinforced how I found the fitting. First one up is the Magna Trail. The right foot is the UK size 9 EU 43. And the left shoe is the UK 8 EU 42. All right, so you can see on the right, this is the larger size. The left one, which is the shoe that I prefer, is the UK 8 EU 42. The difference that I noticed straight away when I'm wearing these is the larger size on the right. As soon as you put it on, there's just more room around the midsection and for joint of where my toe is connecting to the main part of my feet. Uh, this part is much more area. So if you feel that you need to start like adjusting the lacing to make it more fitted around the mid area, then you already know that that's too big whereas the left one i didn't need to make much more adjustments it's naturally just more fitted towards the midsection it's not tight which means you know you still can like tighten the lacing but the fit and the hold around the midsection is just much more comfortable and feels like i know this is the right size for me bearing in mind i'm wearing ankle socks in here my toe is here whereas you can see my toe is here so very big gap and feels much wider um, here there's uh, more gap around this part whereas here it's comfortably uh, towards the edge. Next up we have the Geo Quartz Men so it's reversing it the left side this time is the UK9 EU43 and the right shoe is the UK8 EU42. The Geo Court Men's UK9 was much better fit. The eight was just too tight towards the toe. If I'm going downhill at a decline, then you start feel the toe sort of hitting against the front. That's when you kind of know it's already too tight. So the left one just gives me that more comfortable space with the larger size. I'm wearing ankle socks, I normally, don't wear shoes without them, uh, so they are going to add towards the thickness. But I found when I was doing the laces that it just felt much more comfortable, whereas the smaller size on the Geo Court, uh, before even tightening them up, it already feels much more fitted and I can feel towards the toe, it's starting to give me a bit of like ache and sore because my foot is like max right up there. My foot is more down here. And again, you just have more room for your toes to sort of splay out and, and grip. Walking with them has been much more comfortable. Because of the lower profile and just the way that the shoes are structured, they feel much more fitted than they do with the Magna Trails. The Magna Trails, they do come with the thermal soles, so it's a little bit thicker in the summer. You can actually take it out when you don't need that extra warmth retention uh, because these are built for hiking and adds that extra warmth to keep your feet uh, nice and warm when things outside are very cold. Uh, so if you take it out, it is going to allow extra room in there. You can either have it with no sole or just a normal one. So you can adjust the thickness in there to make it better suited for your feet. For me, I took a risk on sizing to a UK8 because I've never been that, but actually with the thermal sole, it was much better.
Right, so I hope that is useful to choosing the right size for you when it comes to Vivo barefoot shoes. Largely, you can take confidence that they are gonna run the same size with the current shoes that you're wearing for these type. When it comes to the larger like mid and high top shoes, then you largely want to size down to keep that fitting similar to what you would wear similarly. Now this is all bearing in mind that my feet are slightly narrow and long. Normally a UK size nine across my Adidas and on a running shoes. And after putting some good mileage, hiking some mountains, uh, going out for casual walks in the city around Seoul and leisurely in a bit of workout, that is my final deduction of how I was able to choose the right size for me. So thanks a lot for watching. If there are any other videos that you would like me to share around Viva Barefoot, um, leave me a comment. Always happy to hear from you and what kind of things you'd like to see in my upcoming video reviews for the Geocourt Men's and Magna Trails. Hear you loud and clear on my Instagram and in the comment section, uh, just wanting to get more of my personal experience having used them. I've had these for a while, but if you wanna make your voice heard, make sure you join Team KBA and leave a comment down below and I'll definitely do my best to cover the areas that you are interested in. Like I mentioned before, check out my unpacking video of these two as I take them out of the box and also cover the uh, Viva Barefoot Rapanui sweater. Now, after watching and reading my reviews and videos on these stuff if you think the geocourt men's the magna trails are the right shoes for you or you're looking to purchase vivo barefoot shoes you can go ahead and support my channel by clicking and purchasing it through the links down below look forward to following up with my video reviews of these thanks a lot world i'll see you in the next video but until then keep being awesome peace